Okay, one last example, and uh, we're going to have to use U substitution on this one, and I'm going to start by letting U be what's under the radical. So there's two radicals. You have a radical nested within a radical, so we're going to work with this. Okay, and just kind of see what we have. That's We're going to try to let that be U, so let's do DU. So U is 1 plus X to the 1 half. Okay, now we're going to do du. Okay, derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of this is 1 half x to the 1 half minus 1. So we'll get du is equal to 1 half x to the negative 1 half. And I'm going to write that as du equals 1 over 2 x to the 1 half. And that's du equals 1 over 2 root x. Okay, now let's just kind of see where we're at on this now. And then don't forget to put the, the notation uh, dx by that then. Okay, so let's kind of see what we got. We got this u substitution, and we got this du. Okay, well dx, we've kind of got some leftover stuff here. So we've got to work with this expression here a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with this expression. du equals 1 over 2 root x dx. I'm going to solve that equation for dx. So I'm just going to multiply both sides of this equation by 2 root x. Okay, so that will give me 2 root x du is equal to dx. Okay, well, we got, that's kind of some leftover stuff, okay? Well, one thing that I can do on this, though, is I can take this expression, u equals 1 plus square root of x, and I can solve this for square root of x. I can move the 1 to the other side to get u minus 1 equals root x. So that means that root x is really this. So I'm going to come up here and replace that, that with u minus 1 equals dx. Okay, so we're going to work with this, and we're going to work with this, and we're going to see what happens. We've got everything represented in terms of u now. Okay, so when we do the integral, the other thing we want to do is work with these limits of integration. So we have 0 and we have 1. Okay, so u equals 1 plus, and we're going to plug the 0 in there. So that's going to give 1. Then u equals 1 plus square root of 1, so that's going to be 2. So this is going to be our new limits of integration. Okay, there's a lot of algebraic um, wrangling with, uh, with expressions on this one. So now look what we got. Replace 0 became the lower, um, 0 is now 1. The 1 became 2. Now we're going to have the square root. This whole thing right here is what u is. And then dx, we'll see dx is equal to this whole thing, 2 times u minus 1. So I'm going to put a 2 times u minus 1 there times du. Okay, now I think we can integrate this. So we've got integral from 1 to 2, and I'm going to write this as 2, I'm going to change this to u to the 1 half times u minus 1 du. I'm going to multiply this out. I can bring the 2 out, so I get <coughs> 2 times the integral 1 to 2. Multiply that, so remember you're adding exponents, so 1 half plus 1 is 1 and a half, so that's u to the 3 halves, and then minus u to the 1 half times du. Okay, so we can now integrate this, so I'm going to bring down the 2. Okay, the integral of this is u to the 3 halves, plus 1, divide by the result, same thing here, add 1, divide by the result, like that, and then we'll evaluate that from 1 to 2. Okay, now uh, what I'm going to do is I have 2 
times, and if I'm dividing by five halves, that's multiplying by two fifths, u to the five halves, minus two thirds, u to the three halves, and we're evaluating from one to two. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're now ready to evaluate this thing with the fundamental theorem and get it put together and, and finished up here. Okay, so I've got two times, and I'm gonna plug two in, so I'm gonna have two fifths times two to the five halves minus two thirds times two to the three halves, okay, like that minus, and then I'm going to plug a 1 in, so I have 2 fifths times 1 to the 5 halves minus 2 thirds times 1 to the 3 halves. Okay, so that's the arithmetic that I've got to work out. Getting kind of messy, so this is 2 times 2 fifths, and this is really the square root of 2 to the fifth power. And then minus two-thirds, this is really the square root of two to the third power. And then this is two-fifths. One to any power is one. One to any power is one. So now we got that. Okay, this is getting to be pretty scary looking, isn't it? It's not too bad, though, if you just take, take it step by step. Okay, so this is two-fifths. Okay, now the way you can break this square root up is break it up like this. Okay, and if you have a square root of something to an odd exponent, this is how you break them up. Do that like that. And then this is going to be 2 fifths minus 2 thirds, like that. Okay, now let's see where we are here next. We have 2 fifths. Okay, the square root of 2 to the 4th is 2 to the 2nd, and we got a leftover square root of 2. Okay, square root of 2 to the 2nd is 2, and we got a leftover square root of 2. Okay, then we have a minus 2 fifths and a plus 2 thirds there, like that. Okay, now let's see where we're getting to after all this. We have... This is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, so that's 8 root 8 over 5 root 2 minus 4 over 3 root 2. Okay, like this. Okay, then we got minus 2 fifths plus 2 thirds. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and multiply everything by 2 here. God, this is a mess. Okay, so we got, multiply everything by 2, so I have 16 fifths root 2 minus 8 root 2 over 3 minus 4 fifths plus 4 thirds. Okay, well, my thought on this, these are like terms. Let's go ahead and just get everything over common denominator of 15. So I'm going to multiply everything by 3 over 3. So 5 goes into 15 3 times. 3 times 16 is 48 root 2. Okay, then 3 goes into 15 5 times. 5 times 8 is 40, so it's 40 root 2. 5 goes into 15 3 times. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 into 15 5 times. 5 times 4 is 20. So this looks like 8. Radical 2 over 15 plus 8 over 15, so it looks like we get 8 plus 8 radical 2 over 15 is the answer. God, I hope that's the answer. Okay, let's find out. Go back to the original problem, put it in the calculator. Since it is a definite integral, let's see what we get here. Just out of curiosity. So we're going to put in like this. We go square root of 1 plus square root of x. Okay, we're going to go from 0 to 1. I'm going to go 0 to 2, just a little more. Uh, let's see. We probably need to go up to about y needs to go 0 to 2. Scale of 1. Graph it. That's a pretty good picture. Then we're going to integrate from 0 to 1. So we're going to go second calc, option 7, 
the lower limit is 0, upper limit is 1, and we'll see what the answer is. Okay, they've got 1.28, approximately 1.287. Let's see what we got. So if I go down here, let's see what this is. So they got 1.2875873. So if I clear that, and if I go like this, 8 plus 8 radical 2, get that, divide by 15, drum roll, let's see, my god we're right, incredible, that's a great problem, that one, boy you can do that, you've got good skill going on, so I finished up the lesson with one of the harder types that you're going to do, all right, very good.